All right. Let's try to understand what is a B plus tree. Now, a B plus tree is basically a storage method, which is in a tree-like structure. It has a key and a value. This has one root. A B plus tree has one root. And it can have any number of intermediary nodes and leaf nodes. Okay. So what we need to remember is that there is one root at the top. There are some intermediary nodes. And then there are the last level. The last level is known as the leaf nodes. Okay. And the leaf nodes contain the actual data. The intermediary nodes, they contain just the pointers to that data. So let's try to see a B plus tree. Now look at this example here. Okay. Now as you can see here, there is one root node over here, 105. It has some intermediary nodes, 102, 105, 108. And finally the last level is the leaf nodes. Now when you look at this, you might have a lot of questions as to what are these numbers, you know. Uh, what is the significance of these numbers so let's try to understand that first of all what we've done here is we've taken this table the student table and we have converted that into a b plus tree now this table if we look at this table this table has three columns student id student name address the key that we are taking here is the student id this is what we're storing so now what we do over here is that whenever we talk about any node in a b plus tree what will happen is that the nodes let's say let's talk about the root node okay so all the nodes to the left of the root node will contain all the values all the key values which are lesser than or equal to the root node okay so left hand side will be lesser than or equal to and the right hand side will contain all the values which are greater than. So if we talk about this root node 105, we know that all the values on the left should be less than 105. If we look at the table, if we look at the table, we can see these values are 100, 101, 102, 103, 104 and 105. And the right side will contain the values greater than 105. Now these values again if we look at the table are 106, 107, 108. So the root node is of importance. Now look at the leaf node. Ignore the intermediary nodes. Look at the leaf nodes. The leaf nodes contain the actual values. So these nodes, these, these two nodes, if we look at these two nodes, which contain the values 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. These are to the left of the root node. And if we look at this node with the values 106, 107, 108, then we know these values are to the right of the root node okay now intermediary nodes are like the pointers towards these values now what happens is that there is a limit as to how many values can a node contain what is the minimum number of values that a node can contain and what is the maximum number of values that a node can contain so we we'll look at these rules in a while but this this uh, minimum number needs to be maintained and the maximum number cannot be exceeded and we have to balance the tree according to these numbers okay so now let's look at some other points uh, let's see here we have yes so we can observe here that you know the records are split into the left side and into the right side the left will contain the values equal to or less than root and the right side will contain the values greater than the root node we know this the leaf nodes will actually contain the values and if we look at these values these values are sorted so now when i have when i have been pointed to the correct value let's say i was so we'll, we'll see the examples later on also let's say i was looking for 101 or 102 okay when i've been pointed to the right leaf node which contains this value then exactly where in that leaf node is the value is a matter of simply performing a linear search on that node so when we reach here, when we reach here, when we reach here, when we reach here, then we just have to search on 100, 101 and 102 and we will know that our 102 is exactly where it is. Okay, I think 
that is there okay now these are some of the rules that you need to keep in mind uh, b plus trees are all balanced by balanced it means that the length of every path from the root to a leaf node is the same that means that if we look at this leaf node and we look at this root we know that to reach here we'll have to have two arrows let's call this the depth okay so we need two arrows to reach here similarly to reach 107 two arrows similarly to reach 108 two arrows so there's like two steps that i'm taking to reach from the root node to the leaf node and any value in the leaf node koi bhi value mein dekhna ek so ek ek do mujhe do hi steps lagenge root se leaf node tak pahunchne mein okay now uh, now let's look at uh, the second rule every node except the root must be at least half full to kya hai ki hum shuru mein hi bata rahe hain ki hamari kitni number of values aa sakti hain ek node mein to agar hum keh rahe hain char values aa sakti hain to kam se kam do values to hamare node mein rehni chahiye except for the root node root node mein hamari ek hi value matlab usse kam values bhi ho sakte hain okay now let's look at this example over here now we know that uh, this is a b plus tree okay we know that how why because it's balanced hamara jo root node hai udhar se leaf nodes ki kisi bhi value tak jane ke liye hamara ek hi step hai okay now what we have done here is let's say we have to search the number 65 okay 65 num number agar hame search karna hai we will look at the values in the root node okay now we know if we look at this value 25 we know every value to the left of 25 will be lesser than or equal to 25 and every value greater than 25 will be actually uh, greater than or equal to 25 same goes for 50 same goes for 75 so if i'm searching for 65 i know that 65 is bigger than 50 and smaller than 75 so it will be somewhere in between so this in between is pointing towards this node so i know after searching here i can go to this leaf node i don't have to go to the rest of the three nodes i know that the value will be contained somewhere here and over here i will simply perform a linear search and i will find my 65 at the third position so this is my b plus tree and this is how i perform a searching operation in the b plus tree now if we talk about insertion let's say we have to talk about insertion now uh, if if uh, if we look at this example you know if let's say we had to insert the number 20 and there was nothing here if we had to insert number 20 and nothing was here very simply we would have seen that the 20 would be actually is 20 lesser than 25 so it will be in this node and in this node we know that the values are sorted so 20 will come after 15 in the last position okay but let's say we have to a tree is like this and we have to insert the value 60 now if we look at the leaf nodes we know that all the leaf nodes are full so that means we cannot insert the 60 anywhere and where where should the 60 be inserted actually between 50 and 75 so now we know that this is not possible if we make you know we cannot make another pointer here uh, so what do we do the thing that needs to be done is that very simply we'll have to split the whole thing we need to create more nodes so over here if you see we have 25 50 and 75 in the root node aur yahan pe agar hum dekhe to humne kya kiya 25 50 75 aur ek aur value insert kar di hai which is 60 okay ab जितनी वैल्यूज 60 से कम होंगी या 60 के बराबर होंगी वो इस नोड में आ जाएंगी और जितनी वैल्यू 60 से ऊपर होंगी वो वैल्यूज इधर आ जाएंगी राइट सो व्हाट वी डन इज वी एक्चुअली टेकन अनदर की इन द रूट नोड एंड वी हैव एडेड अनदर लीफ नोड सो इफ यू लुक है देर वर फोर लीफ नोड्स है एंड इफ यू गो है वी कैन सी दैट वी हैव वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव फाइव लीफ नोड is this a balanced tree if we if i have to go from the root node to this node how many steps do i have to take just one step there's just one arrow the depth is just one so this is a balanced tree 
and my criteria that every node should be at least half filled is also being fulfilled this is half filled this is more than half filled, right so this is how you can insert the values in a b plus tree now if i talk about deletion okay now let's say if i had to uh, delete something like 20 from here 20 can be easily deleted from uh, this tree okay because uh, my again all my conditions are being met the tree is half full i don't have to do anything you know, any problem here now the exercise for you guys is that if i have to let's say the 20 wasn't here and then i have to delete a 10 in that case what will i do that is the exercise for you guys try it and we'll try to address it if you're unable to uh, understand this good luck